on the screen. Hello guys. I'm going to be introducing you to my top three best reflector in the market right now. Number one on my list will be this particular reflector. When you get this reflector, I've forgotten the name of the reflector, but when I bought it from the brand, there were two different brands that produces this reflector that we have here in Nigeria. This is like the bigger one, there is a smaller one on this reflector. This reflector only has the silver side, the white side, and the gold side. This gold is also mixed with silver, which I would never use on any shoot because I've never been using a gold side on any of my shoes. I normally use just the silver side of this reflector. Then, second on my list, second on my list will be the regular everyday reflector that everybody uses. It's not, it's not even the regular everyday reflector because everybody goes around buying the round reflector. Now, I am tired of the whole boring round reflector that everybody wants to buy. So, I bought this particular one. This is not a round reflector, as you can see. There is a bigger size of this that I have inside. There are different sizes. You can get the smaller one. The beautiful thing about this reflector is it has five different parts. So I will start explaining. This part of the reflector will give you a neutral gray, which is equivalent to the white balance on your camera, if the white balance is set right. It's not adding any color to your picture. It's giving you that neutral look. This side will help you soften the light more than this other side, because this is white. If you are using a softbox that has white and silver side, you know that they both produce two different power of light. So this will help you soften the picture better, but I normally don't use it. Then we have the silver, the gold side. Now, a lot of persons use this gold side if they want to make the picture look a little bit warm or they just want the picture to be shiny in gold. So they will just use this particular side. Then the dark side is to help you reduce the light, like reduce the power of the light, add more contrast to the, the light. The dark side will help you do it. Then for this particular one, in case you're shooting under the sun and you don't want the light to be too harsh on the subject, you can use this to block the sun from reaching you. So that ash line that the sun will normally produce on your body will be softened by this because the sun will now be hitting the, just like your softbox, you have two different diffusing uh, stop before reaching the model. So the, the light will not be harsh. So this will produce that same look on your picture. So if this has helped you, make sure you do well to subscribe to this channel. Last on my list will be this. There is one name they used to call it. But it's normal foam. It's foam that comes with um, when you buy large equipment or those big equipment from industries, you get a big foam like this. In where I'm from, it's called floater. You can repeat after me as I'm saying it, floater. So I feel like this does a more better job than this particular one. I feel like this does a better job because the way this will bounce light for you. It's way stronger than the way this reflector will bounce light. And another beautiful thing about this is that after a while, this particular reflector starts fading away, the gold starts fading away. So you have to go to the market and get another reflector as time goes if you don't know how to maintain it. Because after a while, it will not be bouncing light the way it used to when you first bought it. But this particular one, you can use it for ages. It will do magic for you. If you can see, if I'm, if I keep my phone, if I keep my phone light closed and I shift close, you will notice that the light is reflecting very well on my face. So in, in, in this three reflector, I will always prefer this particular one. It's more affordable and it stays longer. It's just that a lot of persons find it hard to get this because some of the big companies in my area, do not store this. And a lot of times when they buy, when the customer, the consumers buy the goods, they just break them and throw them away. But there are places where you go where you just see these things being stored because I bought this somewhere else and it was transported to where I stayed. Now the transportation now made it more expensive than this normal one. But the most important part is that if I use this, because I bought this before I bought this. Now, 
This one is still working the same, nothing has changed compared to this. And you can break it into two and use it to bounce light anywhere you want to bounce it. You can also use it as a background. So in my everyday, I will choose this. Now, just to make it balance the way it is, I have to call a furniture maker to just help me put leg on it, which I'm not showing on this video right now. A furniture maker had to just help me put something that would make it balance so that I will not be needing people to hold the reflector just like the way I will, I will allow people to hold this other one. That's why when the companies were producing, after a while, they thought of a better way to produce reflector so that people will not be holding it. So they produce the one that you have to put on the stand. So the person that is snapping will just be snapping without people disturbing or so you can go out for shoots. You can be doing your shoot without needing a lot of hands. Only you out there, you are comfortably doing your shoot because there is a stand for your reflector. So if you have any question and if you think this video has skipped some parts that I'm supposed to teach, make sure you drop a comment. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you drop a like and share this video so more other persons can see this video. Once again, my name remains GT. See you in another video.